okay so today's session will be on camera how to use camera in adobe animate there are two types one is inbuilt camera i'll show you that how it works it is very easy then next one more thing is like manually how we can work on manually okay so i i will be using some uh, images google images to show you the camera work so i'll import that first file import to stage okay now when we say camera there will be like uh, four different types one is zoom in zoom out and one more is horizontal like panning horizontal panning or vertical panning next is zoom in zoom out these four are very uh, normally we will use in all movies right we will have zoom in or you can have zoom out or panning like horizontal panning we will do or vertical panning we will do sometimes you will do diagonal panning also so these are the five basic very very basic camera movements in all the movies so we'll do one by one we'll show you one by one like first we'll do the manual one then i'll come back to okay so i have taken this image i'll make keep it for work area yes it's a one point perspective image so you can do zoom in zoom out both using this image first i'll show you camera like what is there already in software okay now as a tool you can see here there's a camera tool down take this and give f5 for some frames now you can see there's a new layer called camera right on a new layer you will have a camera layer so right click classic twin and maybe large frame f6 this so we are adding keyframes to camera layer and there is a image if you check if you come back to this camera layer you can see there is a small cut, uh, handle here to control that just simply just move and see when you do like this zoom in or zoom out out of work area it's a small control if i take this one more op second option you can rotate this see you can rotate or you can like move it like this so whole image or element or if you do symbol so everything will be moving like this when you you can move it like this okay i'll show you how to put keyframes later but very easy if you want to zoom in zoom out again so you can control like this okay you won't be getting depth in when you work on image but if you have some different different layers each thing then you can get the depth also but normally the tool works like this okay if i take the second option equal rotation instead of you can go directly and you can rotate like this or you can work with this controller okay so chalo i'll do this again control z from here we'll do rotation normal now how this works right we'll check okay i'll try to zoom in zoom out now this is the first frame so if you want to zoom out maybe i'll go to some 35th frame i'll press f6 like keyframe and i'll zoom in see see the animation so it's very easy not only images because last frame already okay it is there in the zoom out frame so not only images you can use symbols gimbals everything so this direct tool maybe you create a big scene and take this camera tool and you can just work on the tool like this in between if you want to rotate press f6 and go to this rotating option and just rotate the camera or like this rotate and if you want to zoom in you can zoom again you want to rotate you can rotate the camera see the fun so first normal zoom in then you have rotation so only these are the controllers here one is zoom in zoom out control and here you have the rotation control this is the uh, ready tool what we are here so if you are doing this manual then how it works the same like classic twin only i'll take this image if i want to zoom in very simple click right click classic twin last frame f6 actually we are cheating here like we are not doing any camera work uh will be making this image little big in last frame like this so when you play it looks like we are zooming in and again you can cut all the layers you can create lot of layers and like it will give you the 3d effect i'll show you that also later see this is the manual one so you have more control here in manual okay you can make all the scene as a symbol and you can work on this 
if you want to zoom out simple like opposite so first frame i'll keep like whole uh, inside here the camera like sorry image and last frame i'll make this image small to our work area first frame will be like this so see this is like zoom out i'll say control enter see zoom out this is a simple image so you will have the pixelation thing but if you properly plan and do grouping it will give you a very nice 3d effect this is all about zoom in zoom out right i'll do one more i'll just close this i'll take new image okay i'll have one more image different one again manual so i'll say right click classic twin last frame f6 i'll make it little big okay these images are from google so little blurry so you can see it is zooming in say control enter see it is zooming in okay this is the thing if i say opposite like first frame will have big and last frame i'll make it small within work area so it is like zooming out so camera is coming out see you can keep characters here when the camera is working you can keep the characters one second i'll show you i'll take one front walk and i'll just keep it and i'll show you wait so this is now there is no animation like normal okay we'll keep the work area exactly to the frame then i'll show you the camera okay one second like one point perspective so we can have character walk front i'll open one walk cycle like different work maybe it won't it is not matching the sh like story kind of thing for the background but just to show you how it works if i keep this character my here and i'll give tween and in last frame i'll make this character little big so it's like he's coming front and see the background how we are going to move so character is coming front so background has to go back right so in first frame i'll keep the background little big i'll keep it somewhere here see so background will be moving back based on the timing like how fast he is moving you are going to work i'll keep it like this first frame i'll make the background little big and we'll keep something like this see now so even background is moving same time character is also coming front you can mix like this you can have very nice effect where character is also moving at same time the background also moving okay it is not final just basic idea i am giving you can do lot of things like giving shadows and matching the color of background with the character those are things are different but we are learning here how to work with the zoom in zoom out concept okay i'll do one more i'll take one more image i'll show you panning now horizontal panning maybe we can have there are one second i'll take some good image okay this is the image so you can see it like a horizontal panning you can see the image is bigger than the work area so it's very big three three times more than work area right this is our work area so see the image so if you want to do panning so i'll come back here right click classic twin last frame you have six and first frame i'll keep this here image i'll go to last frame and i'll keep this frame here see now do you like horizontal panning see and if it is very fast we give some f5 like in between frames and we can make it slow i'll show you now it is in 100 frames i'll give some more way of five okay now see it is very slow horizontal panning so you can have a big background lengthy rectangle and you can play like this
if you have to keep character yes you can keep character also i'll show you wait okay this is all about horizontal panning how we done since first frame we have kept the first frame here and last frame we have kept the this part of the image now we can have one character walking here we have done last class one walk cycle right we'll take the character okay last class we have done this character walk cycle okay it's be very slow no problem we'll take this character and i'll show you how to work so you know now symbol so right click copy layers come back to our file insert new layer new symbol walk paste duplicate items okay come back to scene library open that walk cycle okay done now i'll just keep him here i am not moving the character see i am not moving the character only background is moving maybe character timing and background timing is not matching we can do that later but see the concept here character is actually in same position what we done yesterday was walk cycle here background is moving is the difference between walk cycle and walk progressive same time here see background is moving horizontally and character is moving we will feel like character is going but character is in single place now again there is a problem where he goes above this background see like this so you can mask this i think in masking class we have taught this how to mask this particular part you can do that or you can cut it down you can use some other software like photoshop and or when you are making the creating the background you can keep this background in a different layer so you can make that i'll show you now i'll take the same layer again i'll just remove all this twin and i'll show you how you are going to cut that part so it look real that character will go back okay so 200 frames i'll keep no problem okay i'll take the same background i'll just copy this control c i'm going to cut here in directly in animate only because as you know you can go to some other softwares and you can cut it or you can do masking masking i already taught you you can do masking but here i'll cut directly so i'll break this image control b i'll break this image and i'll delete off all these parts i'm just giving a demo like later you can do neatly better when you're creating backgrounds only create everything in layers so when you're animating it will be easy just take all the different layers as a png and you can play okay and neatly remove these things wait i am using laser tool in animate only because if you break the image once you can use laser tool magic wand tool everything there is in scene see i am not changing the position if you see this is a old layer where we have the image and in overlay we have that one more i am not at all changing the position i am not changing this position like this in same position i am working okay i'll just clean it up very roughly i'll do first 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 i will do this i'll just remove this i'll remove the background here or you can take line tool and you can just above this one like using pen tool or line tool you can create neat lines and just select this particular part and you can delete no problem okay this will give you a very nice effect with the overlay any animation you are doing you need one overlay to work with then you will have the depth all those things okay i'll take this roughly okay 
Okay. This is all about layers where you have one background layer and you have the character layer and you have this foreground layer or what we call like overlay. Okay, so it is done. So only this part I have taken. Done. So now you can see it is here like overlay. I'll just close this. So it is the same position. We have not changed any position. Now I'll give same twinning for both layers, both background layers, okay, not for the character, character will do later, only for the backgrounds. So without changing or without changing any positions, we will move these two at a time, okay, where is our work area, it is correct, so I'll move both, one second. Okay, so this is the last frame. You can see it is moving. There are two layers actually at a time moving. One is that image, big image and one is that overlay. But they are in two different layers and we not changed any timing. Now I will open this character layer and you see. The character is going very very slow. You have to make him fast. See. Now we have the fun. I will control enter C. Character is going very slow compared to the background. You see the overlay now, how it works. So it will look very good where you have one background, one character layer and one foreground. See, this is how we are working with the camera and character both. Okay, I'll make him little slow because I'll try. So I'll remove some frames and check because that walk cycle has to match the background. No, background is fast. So I will give more frames, now we will see, yeah now it is okay okay, where the character is moving and background is also moving little slow. You can have both the options, pause the background and move the character from right to left or this is like camera, horizontal panning, so we are showing like where he is going slowly with the forest, okay so this is one more idea, I will close this here, next. I'll import some more images and I'll show you. We don't want this now. I'll open some more images and I'll explore it more on camera. Okay, in this case, I'll show vertical panning. Yes, you can see this image, not clarity, but simple image. I'll make it big. Again, you can see this is our work area and the images is bigger than our work area. Okay, I'll make it this much big. So when you're doing storyboarding, you have to plan all these camera angles. Okay, I'll give 100 to 150 frames. Right click, classic twin, F6 and move this background up till this. Now see the fun. I'll play, see, this is like vertical panning. If you do proper perspective backgrounds, it will look like wow kind of thing, see. Vertical panning, we are moving just image from one point to one more point. Manually we are doing, so it looks like camera is going from up to down vertically. Okay, so this is about vertical panning and we already know zoom in, zoom out and horizontal panning. Now last set, I'll show you how you can give little 3D depth to the background. Okay, I'll import images. Again, I have some ready set with me. Okay, you can see there is a background, yes. This is background from Jungle Book. Now, see this. I have made this using Photoshop. There is a tool called Content Ever, right? Using that tool, I have taken this separately. Or when you are digital doing, again as I told you, when you are doing creative backgrounds, you can create this in a different layer. Now, this is different layer. This is in a different layer, okay. But it looks like a part of background. One second, control Z. Okay, it's like a background, single background. So I'll make it big into a work area. Now distribute to layers because there are two different layers. Okay, done. So two layers. In base layer, we are having this big background. 
top layer we are having these pillars kind of thing okay i'll give normal planning only first i'll say normal horizontal planning f6 i'll keep this background here first frame i'll keep it here play is moving there's nothing special there are two layers but there is nothing special because uh, it, it looks like image only now horizontal panning image see normal image moving yes but if i change the timings then what happens so if i change the like i'll go to last frame this particular overlay keep it little behind okay now starting you saw that one second i'll control the dialog show you again starting they are starting at a time ending was it was same so i'll move this little out now see okay you can see that 3d effect because timing is different now background is moving fast and overlay is moving little slow so you'll have that little 3d effect like parallax effect this is very very important so in 2d only you can give a very nice different uh, camera angles see i'll give more maybe it won't look good but i'll try to give more so i'll see now see the point here starting it is same but ending point we have changed the timing this will be late and this will be starting on point this will be like behind it will be still be coming little late see observe properly you can feel that 3d effect there so all these techniques when you work with the camera it is not like just camera but there are lot of techniques like this where you can work with the layers you can uh, uh, pan like this zoom in zoom out panning all those things will like when you are making a short film at least 20% of the part you can play with the background and like camera only it is not like character animation you no need to do like 2 minutes movie means it is not like all 2 minutes movie you have to do character animation at least 30 seconds in between intro shot all in between shots you can play with the camera till you get the character right so this is a like 3d effect here okay and again same i'll show last option now when you are through camera you can change the scene also like i'll have one simple example here to end with i think i have background yeah you can using camera you can change the scene like in this scene when you the creator of the background how they created you can see here like there's a bright character sitting and you can see a big forest here so again you can play like camera transitions using camera only instead of giving transitions from one scene to one scene just like this if i say between last frame you have six wait i'll move the camera this side to the dark jungle here so directly we are showing that camera scene is changing see from here that mogli part is seeing this side and see suddenly the camera changes into a dark forest like scene changing so you can do the scene changing use, using this type of camera techniques also okay so that's all for camera so practice like zoom in zoom out horizontal panning vertical panning diagonal panning you can do manually also and you can do like with the tool which is already given there okay Thank you.